we are here at CPAC with Chuck Woolery. That's me. <laughs> Who has got a new project that he's working on that he'd like to tell us about. Well, it's not a new project. That's been about five months old. And uh, originally, a friend of mine and I were riding motorcycles in Michigan and talking about the super committee that came to see Oh. oh. Oh, I think we've got protesters. to their friends that 
we need to kick these guys out and start over again. And they need to sign term limits and really get serious about it because it's one of the primary building blocks that will change government for the positive. That's it. Well, that's wonderful. I'm a simple man. I don't think very deeply. So. But you know what, though? I think one thing I've noticed the last couple of years especially, people are very hungry for ideas. And the reason that capitalism works so well is little children can do it. I have a cookie. You have a cupcake. I'd rather have the cupcake. You'd rather have the cookie. We trade. We both feel richer. The smartest minds in the world can't make socialism work. The smartest minds in the world can't make any, any communist government. They always fall apart. It's impossible. So some simple ideas are, are actually really a, a lot of the solutions. I'm probably going to say this on stage. In 1959, when I was a senior in high school, I remember Khrushchev was visiting Iowa. And he was looking at our corn crops, trying to figure out how Russia could make better corn. He's with a Secretary of Agriculture, Taft Benson. He said to Taft Benson, your children one day and your grandchildren will grow up under communism. And Taft Benson, who was not a fan of Premier Khrushchev, said to him, I will do everything in my power to make sure your children grow up in freedom. And Khrushchev, undeterred, said this exactly. Oh, you Americans, you're so gullible. We will spoon feed you socialism until you all wake up communists and will never fire a shot. Welcome to 2012. It does seem to be the fear of a lot of people. I've heard similar things from a lot of people. Well, that's what he said. That was what, 60 years ago, 50 yeah. years ago. So the, the, that's what this word it's, it's like the frog more than the frog. I was about to say the frog in the water. You, you slowly, slowly boil it, it yeah. So everything becomes normal <laughs> and natural when in fact it's terrible. We've lost so much of our freedom and so much of our liberty and we don't even know it. It's very sad. Because we grow up in this, so we have nothing to compare it to. Oh, I have to thank, go it was so, so great. Well anyway, I appreciate you talking with me. I'll give you my